Hi everyone, happy Friday. It's Christine from Christine's Stamping Spot. Um, I thought today would be a good day to just sort of pop in with a live. Um, it's kind of rainy and gloomy here today, so a great day for stamping. Um, so I thought we would try to do another fun fold card, which hopefully you're not getting too sick of yet. Um, it was an idea I saw from Mary Nab, who is this amazing demonstrator in Ohio that I met at the recent Backstage in Vegas, and she is so, so talented. And she used a stamp set that I thought, hmm, that might be a fun one to play with this time of year. Um, so let me turn my camera around and... Um, we will see if we can put this card together. So just hang on one second. Just gonna prop you up here. I don't have any of the fancy software, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. I was trying to see if I could see comments here, and I don't know if I will. Uh, just give me one second. I haven't really done this with a live before, so... Oh, here we go. Hopefully you can all hear me, and I will see if I can monitor comments. If I don't, I apologize, but I'll, I'll go back later and... Um, try to see and respond to them. So hopefully, uh, let me just drop that and mute my computer here too so you don't get any background noise. Let's see if this works. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to play with, with this Brood For You stamp set and dies. This is what it looks like. It's got some great little images here. And the reason I thought of this was um, the fun fold that Mary did also use this stamp set. And I thought, you know what? Oktoberfest is kind of happening right now across the world. I don't know if any of you have ever gone to Oktoberfest or celebrated it. But fun fact, I recently found out the world's largest Oktoberfest is, of course, in Munich, Bavaria. And that actually starts in September, not in October. So I'm not sure why it's called Oktoberfest, but it typically ends like the beginning of October, like October 2nd this year or something. Um, but I know we also have a large Oktoberfest in Kitchener, Waterloo in Ontario. Shout out to all our Ontario friends. Um, and theirs runs a little more uh, the end of September and around till Thanksgiving or so, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. Um, so that's a little more Oktoberfest, uh, true to the name. But anyways, I thought we would play with this stamp set. And this is the card we're going to make. Isn't this fun? So it actually has a belly band on it. And this is called an angled gatefold card. Okay, now you could do this with so many different designer papers or for so many different celebrations. So we are going to see if we can do this. Um, and I have pre-cut a few pieces just to save some time, but I will do some of the measuring here with you. Um, and hopefully you can see what I'm doing on my paper trimmer here. Um, I might have to move this up a little bit just so you can see. Okay, so we are going to start with a card base, which measures 11 inches by five and a half. And I'm using the black. Now it might be a little bit hard to see on the camera where I'm making my little pencil marks because we have to make a couple of ticks just to help us um, with some cutting. But first what we're going to do is score this <clears throat> and we are going to score it. Let me bring this down. <clears throat> Excuse me. At um, three and three eighths. So one, two, three and three eighths. And also at seven and five eighths. Now, if you don't want to go to seven and five eighths, 
What's interesting is that you can flip this around and, oh, this is why I'm having trouble playing this video. Huh. Okay, well, maybe we'll get this posted later. Um, sorry, <clears throat> just got distracted. Um, you can turn it around and also score it at three and three eighths on the other side. Okay, so one, two, three and three eighths here. All right, so that will give us um, the panel that we need here in the center, which will be our typical um, measurement for our, our cards, okay? So this will make our regular card. All right, so now we're gonna do a teeny bit of um, measuring so we can angle, make these angles that we have here on the card. And we'll just take this belly band off. So we've got a couple of angles that we need to cut. So um, this will be our left side here. So we, for the angles, are going to Okay, so I want this one to come down this way and this way, because this is the one on the right side. So I want it to come down. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is on this top corner, I'm gonna measure down one and a half inches. So you can do that on your paper trimmer. Uh, one and a half here from the top. Yeah, I don't know if you can see this. Hopefully you can. Just move my coffee out of the way. It's National Coffee Day, everyone. So I hope you're having a little nice beverage this morning, even a, a tea if you're not a coffee drinker. Okay, so I measured down one and a half on that side. And then to make our angle here, I wanna go in one inch from the bottom. Okay, so we're gonna measure that one inch here. And I'm just sort of putting a little tick in the track mark here. And then we can slice this off. So where you're gonna cut is from my pencil mark, which is one and a half down to the corner, this first score line, okay? So you're gonna line the score line up in the track and that little tick mark that we did. Oops, try not to move it. All right, like so. And then we have this angle cut. <clears throat> so now what we want to do is cut from this point down to our one inch mark here that we went in. Okay, so we're going to line up the point there and our tick mark into the track. <clears throat> oh my goodness, I have a frog in my throat this morning. And slice that off. Okay, so then we have our angle here. Now we want to do it similar on the left side. Okay, so you've got it like this. This is the one angle. And now we want to cut it so it's like this and down. So the same measurements. So on this top corner, you want to measure one and a half down here. Uh, what's the best way to do this? Maybe I'll flip this over. So one and a half down. Okay. One of our old chalk markers would be cool for this too to mark. Okay, so we've gone one and a half down and then again we want to go one inch from the bottom left. So we'll go one inch here like so and then we can cut this down so again we're going to go from our score line to our little tick mark so you're going to line up that score line and our tick mark and slice that angle off okay and then again on the bottom we're going to go from this corner that we sliced right down to our tick mark so again you'll 
line up your corner in the track and your tick mark like so okay as best you can without it shifting too much okay all right and we'll go down okay so that should give us our angles for our card okay so you can flip it in or out whichever way you like so i'm just gonna burnish these really well okay so this is our base so now if you want to decorate um, you can pick some designer paper. You could decorate these flaps here with cardstock, which is what I'm going to do um, for whatever designer papers or, or if you want to leave it blank, you can use cardstock and emboss it or just do it on one panel. It's totally up to you. Okay, so I chose um, these two patterns. I chose the pretzels because I thought that is so Oktoberfest. If anyone has gone to an Oktoberfest or any sort of um, Bavarian or German celebration, pretzels are, are very well known. And I got this paper from this pack. This is our delightfully eclectic 12 by 12 mega pack. This is in the large catalog right under all the designer papers. And you get 48 sheets double-sided in this package. So you got some really great fun patterns to choose. So that's where I found the pretzels, if you're wondering. Okay, so we have to do some angle cutting on these pieces as well. So you can decide which side you want. I'm going to do it on both panels, but you could just do one. So I'm going to put this one on the right and this pretzel one on the left. But you could switch it around too. Okay. So I want this angle, again, to go like my base, down from there and down from there. Now these are cut at uh, three and one eighth by five and a quarter, both of them. Now a good trick is instead of cutting them individually, um, and I know they're opposite, right? Our cuts are gonna be opposite one going this way, one that way. So the good trick that Mary showed was to put, decide which ones you want to face forward and then you're gonna just put them back to back. Okay, so I want this on one side and this on the other side. Okay, so we're gonna make some little tick marks again but they're exactly the same as our measurements on our base. So, on the top, we want this to go like this. So from this top left corner, we're gonna measure down an inch and a half. Hopefully you can see this. Measure this an inch and a half. Now, this is black, so we'll see if this shows up. And then we're gonna do one inch from the bottom in. Okay, so keep those pieces together. And we're gonna go one piece in here, or sorry, one, one inch. And then we can slice. So we're gonna line up this corner and our tick mark. Hopefully you can see that. And we're gonna cut our angle, okay? And then we're gonna cut from this down to our one inch mark. So the point in the track, the one inch tick in the track. Hold it down and slice. Okay, and then when you open them, see they're reversed. Perfect tip from Mary, I love that tip. So I think that's all the cutting and measuring and things that we have to do. So I'm just gonna set these aside and we can start to put this base together. So on the inside, I'm just gonna put our standard five and a quarter by four, and this is where you can write a message. So let's put this in here. So, sorry if I'm wobbling the camera here. All right, so now we can add our DSP. So I am going to line this one up here and hopefully I cut that 
fairly well. If you look at it this way, it's a little bit off, but not too bad. Okay, so I'm going to put this on the right side. So there is our base. Now, with a, a gatefold like this, you can choose which side you, you know, it doesn't really matter which side is going to be on top or which is on the bottom. You can certainly switch that around. Maybe I'll leave my pretzels here on the top this time. So now what we want to do is we want to attach our belly band around here. Okay, so I cut just a piece of Cajun craze. And I am going to just sort of lay this around the center and fold it here. Now I want it snug, but not so snug that you can't get it off. So I'm just gonna sort of lay this on top here. And then I'm just gonna put some adhesive. And then try to line this up here here. So it does still move. It's actually a little bit loose, but it should hold. Okay. And I've got my um, seam at the front. You could do it at the back, but this way you don't see it at the back. And I'm going to cover this seam anyway. All right. So now for our images. So where is my silicone? Matt. So I went ahead and stamped and die cut our foam and our uh, beer steins. So I used this image to stamp the beer stein in memento black and this image for the foam. Okay, and you have separate dies that will cut both of those out. Now, before I cut this out, I used this image here with Cajun Craze ink and I stamped it inside these lines to make it look like there was actually beer in there. Now I know there's different kinds and colors of beer and ale and different things, but I just sort of tried to go for the traditional golden one, but you could switch that up. Now there's also wine goblets here and there's also beer glasses and also a big carafe for wine. So you could definitely, if you wanted to make this for someone that's a real wine lover or wine connoisseur, just use the wine glass and use this image to fill it. Maybe depending on if they like a white wine or a red wine, you could adjust the color of the ink for that and maybe fill up your bottle a little bit if you wanted to or just color it in or maybe even this image and you also have these smaller glasses that you can attach the foam to so there's a couple of different um uh things you can do with putting these pieces together so i'm gonna do mine as beer mugs because i like i said wanted to kind of treat it as a bit of, bit of an oktoberfest theme so then i'm just going to put my foam on the top here on both of them like so okay like this okay and then i'm going to attach them on my belly band with some dimensionals now just to be aware you just want to sort of put your dimensionals in the center because if you put them on the bottom it's going to stick to your designer paper and you're not going to get your belly band off which could prove problematic um oops so let's just put these on here and I'm just going to angle these a little. So I'll put this one here to cover my seam. And then the other one, maybe I'll just 
put them again right in the center. And we'll put this one over here. Oops, this looks so ugly. This foam won't stick to my belly band either. So nope, it should just, it does still move, so that's good. All right, so now we are going to do our greeting. Um, so I cut a piece of um, just white cardstock, and this measures two and three quarters by three quarters. And I wanted to make mine a birthday card, so there's another round for your birthday. And I'm just going, oh, I have that mounted already. Where did I put it? Here, I'm ahead of the game. Okay, so maybe what I'll do first is I want to flag this. So I'm gonna use my label Pick-A-Punch, and I'm just gonna slide that in. And it's just easier for me if I punch it first and then stamp, because otherwise I may cut off my greeting. Okay, so there's my flag. And let's just ink this up. And we'll put this, excuse my head, just here. Okay, another round for your birthday. And I will just put that maybe just here. Um, depending on what you do, you could sort of tuck it in, you know, under one of the beer steins if you're, you know, you didn't hide your greeting with the handle there. But I'm just going to put adhesive on this part, not the whole greeting, because then, it, like I said, it would get stuck on this DSP and it would not open. Okay, so there you go. Another round for your birthday. And you can slide that off. And then write your little greeting. You could even stamp, oops, stamp something extra in there too if you wanted to. All right, so I hope you like that impromptu live celebrating the Brood for You stamp set. I think that's a really fun one for a lot of different occasions. So I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.